Hello, I'm Teresa Barkas, and I'm with Norwalk Art Center. And I'm Vanessa Cook. I'm also with Norwalk Art Center. Teresa and I are the co-founders of the nonprofit we're starting here in the city of Norwalk to use the old Norwalk Theater as our home base. And today is major cleanup day. What, 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 what's going on? What's the biggest chore in there today? Well, the carpet upstairs and most of upstairs is ruined from water and roof leak. So we're going to throw it all away and get brand new. Now the roof's in good shape, right? No. No. <laughs> so our big capital campaign that will start us out for the kickoff of rehabbing the facilities is going to be an emergency capital campaign to replace the entire roof. Um, it is too far gone at this point to try to patch. So it is going to be a total rehab of removal and replacement. And then uh, where do you go from there? From there, we will literally start from the top and work our way down. Um, we'll address the ceiling next, then uh, the walls, then the flooring, and the seating. What, what kind of shape, a uh, scale of 1 to 10, what kind of shape is this building? Um, structurally, it's sound. We've had a structural engineer in and assess the property. He said it's structurally sound. It has great bones. It's just a lot of cosmetic and cleanup. You said you found the old uh, wallpaper? Yes, we did. We found some old uh, silk wallpaper upstairs behind the carpet. It's unfortunately too far gone to save, but we have pictures of it and we can find artists that can re replicate it if we want to go that direction in our design. How big of a job is it to get this inside ready for the construction crews to come in? Um, I don't know. We haven't really assessed. We, today's our first day, so we're just trying to figure it out. Um, we've had a lot of groups down here helping. Mostly our board members. We have great, strong board members that are here working side by side with us. Um, our president, Dina Lucasco, our treasurer, Tina, or sorry, Kathleen Sixworth, and our arts and education uh, committee member, uh, committee chair, uh, Tina Ruffing, all came down with their families to help us try to get this underway. It's going to be a long term project. The, the seat's in good shape? Um, not necessarily. They definitely need cleaning. Um, there, We have some water damage to them as well. They may have been saved a little bit just because they are covered in vinyl from like maybe the 1970s, so that might have saved some of them. Uh, is the organ still here? It is not. No. It hasn't. We, it wasn't here when we purchased the building. Okay. Measures in there that are original to the building. Um, the original projectors are there. The original seating is there. Um, we, like we said, we found wallpaper today, so they may have taken some stuff, but it, it's not significant to the function of future use of the building. What is the future use of the building? Um, we're going to try to do a multi, uh, multifunctional space where we do arts programming for education purposes and teaching children about the four areas of arts, music, dance, visual arts, and theater. Um, we also want to be a roadhouse where uh, traveling acts can come in and participate and be part of the scene here in Norwalk. We want to host private events. Um, you can do a reception in here. You could do an art gallery presentation. So we're trying to make it a flexible space that can be a community space uh, that can really serve everyone. How can people help you? I'm sorry? How can people help you? Donations. <laughs> you can go on to Facebook. We have our button there under Norwalk Arts Center. There's a donate right directly to us, and Facebook gives us 100% of the donations. Um, because it's a non-charitable organization. You can also go to our website, which is norwalkartcenter.org, and you can donate through there. Um, also, we will be putting up a want and wish list for things that we will need in our office space, like copy paper, office chairs, anything that somebody's getting rid of that we can keep and reuse and repurpose. And you're looking for some grants? We are looking for some grants. We are looking for a grant writer, so if you do that, come on out. We'd love to have you. <laughs> We're also uh, putting on production of Elf Junior. We'll be doing a, a few shows for that, um, starting to revive a children's theater program. So if you support that program, that will help us as well. And okay. that will be happening next door at First Baptist Church. We've partnered with our next door neighbor until we get our facilities rehabbed that we're gonna perform and practice over there. Okay, well it's a, it's a big chore, but it looks like you guys are all in, aren't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're all in. <laughs> For sure. Uh, one of them is Everson. John Everson designed this building in 1941. It was the end of his career. Most of his theaters were what they call um, 
atmospheric architectural, so it was like yeah. you're outside, yeah. but you were inside the building, but it seemed like you're outside. So the design of the Norwalk Theater is actually Art Deco streamlined modern, and it was at the end of his career he started doing this. And it was less ornate than the atmospheric, and what they would do was use a lot of paint to make detailed work. And so today we found the flooring, and we believe this is probably original. Um, if you look here, there's some design. It's got blue on it, but we have borders with paint. We have designs with paint, you know, patterns with paint. So we, um, because we found this today, this is even better. We're hopefully we can duplicate this when we restore it. But this is, you can see the pattern work, and this would have been an Everson design. There's only about a hundred Everson theaters in the United States. There's only 30 of them exist um, from the original 100 that he built, and the Streamline Modern is very rare. So we have a gem here in Norwalk, we just need to polish it up. These are carbon arc projectors. These are probably original to the building. Um, they would light these rods in here, which would cause the light, and then the, uh, that would project the film onto the screen. And we have two of them that are in pretty good shape. We are looking into trying to figure out what to do with them. We would really like to put one in the main lobby so everyone can enjoy and see this history. Um, but it's kind of a cool find. We're finding lots of stuff up here in the projection room. Come this way, I'll show you some reels. This is the reel room. So this is where they would have um, rewound all of the reels and the machine to do that's here. And we have some of the old reels that we're going to repurpose. Um, we found a table downstairs that somebody designed from one of the old reels. So we're going to design some more of those. And we actually found some films, too, um, that are in, in here. So lots of history.